In today's video, you're going to get to see a beautiful 1968 Camaro. Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. I am thrilled you're joining me today. Today I am going to be introducing you to a gentleman. His name is Jim. Jim has a stunning 1968 Camaro SS. This car was actually built from pieces from a project that somebody had tried to undergo but couldn't quite complete it. It was built by his friend in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's got a small block engine in it. It's got this beautiful dark blue color with gorgeous striping on it as well in white. So without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive, let's check out this beautiful 1968 Camaro. Amazing. Jim, rev the engine for me, sir. And what a beast. Honk the horn. Beautiful. Turn her off. Well, right off the bat, she's a little bit faster than mine, that's for sure. <laughs> Tell me what you got here, Jim. It's a 1968 Chevy Camaro SS. And how long have you had her? I've had her about 10 years. Oh my God. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, is it all original? It's not original, no. It's not original, no. okay. So did you do the work yourself or did somebody else do it? Somebody else did the work, but when I first got the car, it was all in pieces. Oh no, really? Yeah, so somebody had owned it for 12 years and it was in their garage and they did nothing with it, but that was their project. And then finally, the fellow's wife said, it's time for the car to go. <laughs> enough's and enough, that's it's, either, it's either the car or me, exactly. one of those, right? <laughs> yes. Wow, so when you got it in pieces, you did the work yourself to put it together? I had or? a friend in Halifax named Les Jones. Oh, wow. And he called me, he said, I found a car. It's got all the pieces and I'd like to put it back together for you. So he started with the project oh my in Halifax. Wow, what so a guy. Everything that was missing was just the engine and the transmission. So at that point, I knew I didn't have a, a numbers matching car. Right. So I decided it was time to uh, have some fun. Yes, and, and why that's not? that's what I did. Absolutely. What is this color, Jim? It's a color that I saw when I was in Las Vegas at the Shelby Museum. And I walked in and I saw this blue on one of the old um, Shelby Cobras. Right. And it had the white stripes. And I said, that if I'm going to paint my car, this is that the is one. the color. So the fellow that I spoke to emailed me the color code and this is the color. So it's... it looks kind of purpley in, this, in the yeah. sunlight. Yeah, Black yeah, yeah. at nighttime. For and sure. It's got that, that entire hue of colors, I yes. think is the right way of phrasing it, but it's lovely. The body striping is fabulous on this thing. Wow, what an absolutely gorgeous machine. I love the rims too. Oh, thank you. They're Fessler. Fessler rims, look yeah. at this. Wow. Oh, she's absolutely gorgeous. And the rear tires are quite a bit wider than the front. Yeah, a little bit. So the motor on this car is not the original no. that would have gone on no. the SS. What, what, does, what is the motor on this now? It's called an LSX. So it's, I believe you'll, maybe someone will correct me, but I was told that it was like a, it's like an LS3, um, but it's like a 327 engine really 
similar to a 327. So it's a small block. You can get a bigger block, the 454. It's an LSX 454, I believe it's called. Okay. So there were some other options. Yes. But I decided it had just enough power for me. So how long ago was it painted then? Five, six years ago, just when yeah. I started the project, you know? That's extraordinary. It looks like showroom condition yeah. almost, like absolutely beautiful. The fellow that finally got a hold of it and repainted the whole car was at a Welland, and his name is Mike Azzettini from oh, Azzettini Performance. And fantastic. he did a tremendous job. Like all of these stripes you can't feel. They're, it's just as if they were sprayed on. There's just, you can't feel it at all. You can just tell the quality of the workmanship. Yeah. I love also how you've got the red in there for the LSX part too. Well, it's a funny story. I, I saw the 40th anniversary of the Camaro yeah. and it had that sort of red stripe really? okay. there. And they also had it on the back. Right. But, um, and I did have it on the back, but okay. I have an old military Humvee that right. I had at home. Yes. And Which we're going to have to make another video yes. of now that you say that. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't used to driving like manual transmissions and I got in the car to pull it into the garage and I put my foot on the clutch and not on the brake oh. and it backed into the, uh, the military Humvee with the big, oh, no. you know, big bracket on the front of it. And uh, I pulled it into the garage for, for about a week and then I went out and looked at it and I knew it had to be painted so oh, shoot. Um, I didn't put the red back on it just where for, was the red then like, it was just it was on the back on that side but yeah. it would have gone like this Got the it. same way yeah, same idea yeah fabulous so who knows maybe one day I'll Man, put the red back on well, that will teach you. At least you're very honest about mm. it. You can't even blame anybody on it yourself, no, right? No. It's like, oh my God, what have I done? Now, I got to ask you though, the front end, the spoiler there. Yes. Would the original Camaro have had the yes. same type of spoiler? Yes. It had the wow. same spoiler, but I just put it in car. I actually dipped it in carbon fiber because I figured if, if I was going to buy an actual carbon fiber piece and I broke it I would start to cry so yes yes because of sure. the expense so I I bought a new one and then I just dipped it it's fabulous um, so going back to the rear spoiler then yes. the original SS's would have had those too. yes yes fantastic so it's an original SS car right I just threw some I mean it's not true to the way it exactly the way and SS RS car would be so it's a true SS but I threw some RS options on it just because yeah. I thought it looked cool you made it your own I made it my own absolutely can we take a look at the engine sure so no release from inside right no. everything's done external oh for crying out loud Jim now you're just showing off <laughs> wow so who did all the engine work on this again it would have been originally uh, Les Jones out of Halifax. My oh my. Les Jones is a genius. A mechanical genius. Yeah, I believe he probably had some mechanical help himself, but great guy. Oh my goodness. I love the color code as well. Not the color code, but the color combination yes. of the blue back in there. And this would have been like the original uh, sticker. Yes. From uh, Fisher. Yeah. Fabulous. My oh my, Jim, you could eat off yeah. of this thing. So this is actually, this is carbon fiber. It is, hey? It is wow. true carbon fiber. So and she's a bit of a beast of a car then, isn't she? Yeah. She can go. Certainly sounds that way, so. Man, I just love the detail here, even the struts there to hold up the uh, the, the bonnet there. They're yeah, amazing. and it's got, it's got air ride in it as well. Fabulous. How much space is there in the trunk? Um... Not much. So that does have a release, does it? Oh no, it's with a key, okay. So it might be a little unorganized here, right. however. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, there's your air ride right there. Yeah. Fabulous, and you gotta have the California duster, otherwise, well. Yes. We're not Carla, but Zari. 
This is probably one of the handiest things that I always keep with me. Okay. But Milwaukee came out with these, and it's a battery power, and um, you can load up your tires if you're down, or you don't have oh, to pull right. into a gas station. Just right on. And it's all self-enclosed. Yeah. So it's battery operated all the time. Yeah. You've got a. What's what's the deal here? What? What's so I have a cover? battery shut off on that battery. Okay. Just so that when I'm in the garage or storing it, it just uh, there's no pa battery drain. What's this drain. device right there then? That's that's the uh, the shut off. So I can shut oh, the, okay, okay. shut the car off just by safety. Yeah. By doing that. That is very cool. Yeah. But even there is a little bit of bling going on with yeah. the probe, right? <laughs> Why not? My gosh, it's beautiful. Wow, Jim, what do you say? Like, this is one of those extraordinary cars. The moment I saw it, I thought, this is, you know what gets you is the color. Oh, yeah? Right, because I think I saw it in the distance yeah. as I'm approaching it. So, hang on, I thought it was black. It's blue now. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's going on? Yeah, I always, when I was in high school, I had a, sick, a red 1968, and I wow. sold it to go to school for a university. And you still miss it, don't I you? I still missed it. I you know, know you and do. And I said you to my tell. wife, just, just the tone of your yeah, voice yeah. and that look in your eyes says, yeah, even that car. There has to be a day when I get one back, and she said, yeah, to go for it. So this is, this pretty, is it. Pretty close. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's fabulous. Can I take a look inside? Absolutely. So I tried to keep everything original in the car, and I didn't go with electronic gauges or anything. It's still the same gauges radio is even these gauges in the center console yes. would have been stock that's stock wow and trying to get them to work with the new ls motor was a bit of a that's a challenge battle. i can see that yeah and the shifter again this is the way it was hey with the white uh, like a billiard ball yeah kind of approach. yeah then yeah. again out of the shop five speed mm-hmm let me go around the other side. I see you keep this thing, which is kind of nice. Because then I always forget when people ask me about things and, you know, I'm not a true, I, I love cars and gears and things, but I'm not a real gear head. So sometimes people say, you know, what, what rear end do you have in the in the car? I yes. actually have a 373 now because the 456 was... You know what I love the fact yeah. too, Jim, is that you've honored the people that were part of the process. Yes. Fantastic. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Man, solid, isn't it? Yeah. Just looking at these dials just takes you back <laughs> in time, doesn't it? Yes. Now, is this one of those retro radio things going? Yes, it is, yes. Right? I wanted to try to keep everything yeah. as period as correct yeah, as possible. Which, which makes sense. Beautiful. I love the, the plaid kind of look on the, the yeah, seats they, too. They call so that this is a, tooth. That's a cloth, yeah. is it? Yes. Wow. Very sharp. Just a beautiful machine. And that's your air ride control system, I'm assuming? Yes. Now, what made you decide to put the air ride in there? I don't know. I, just at the time, I got caught up, and I thought that was pretty cool. And But I I wouldn't do it again. Why? If, if I had the money. It's just there's too much futz in to go with. You know, every time you get yeah. in, you have to... I'd rather put it on coil springs and set the height and then be done with it. And be comfortable with that yeah. as opposed to some of the... Yeah, but you know what? It is kind of cool when you have yeah. it and uh, why not? Can we go for a little drive? Absolutely. Right, let's do that. Yeah. Do your thing. All right. Let the engine roar. that in your bones, man. It, it makes you feel young. Crying out loud. Okay, we're going to go out to the lights. We'll turn left. So, these are not straight pipes, are they? No, um, 
stain. They're two and a half inch stainless steel uh, exhaust pipes. yourself especially when you come up on the police and they <laughs> kind of start looking at you you're like how you doing officer yes I'm here and uh, you know what in most cases it's a little bit of respect that yes you're, that's right that you have something of uh, something like this that you're keeping going right Wow so what was the very first car you bought you mentioned that 68 it was actually it was a 1968 Camaro Camaro SS back in high school yeah. So you've been a car guy all your life. I wouldn't be where I am now. True 
it up. So it's well worth it. So kids, if you're listening, <laughs> try and go <laughs> work hard at school. Decided, um, I came back to the city and I worked uh, at City TV for a while in the newsroom. So I, uh, I worked in news for the longest time and then decided that um, working in public relations was my calling. So Good I uh, have some really great clients and that's between the cars and the great people I work with, um, I'm, uh, that's sort of my happy place. Good for you. Know? you. And I have a great wife and a great family. So that was a lovely very... plug right there for your wife. What's yes. your wife's name? Kelly. Kelly, okay. If you're yeah. hearing this, Kelly, <laughs> he says you're a great wife. So there you go. Um, she drives uh, 2008. Shelby Cobra. Oh she's my god. A, so she's a car girl. She's too. a car girl. I see. Now it's you a, say your kids are really want this car too. Yes. I don't blame my, them. Yes. My little one named Devon, she she said to me that she really would like to have this one day, but she's a millennial and she doesn't drive standard, so right. I don't know how she's gonna, gonna drive it. That would turn right here. Well, that should be a pretty good incentive for her, don't you think? If you want Dad's car, you have, have to have to learn, learn how to drive. Yeah. Jim, what do I say? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This has been completely my pleasure to see this gorgeous car and your smiling face and why you love her so much. She's absolutely stunning. Well, I, I appreciate the opportunity too. I, I love your channel and I think you uh, you do a really fantastic job and you help bring all this passion that every all these people like myself bring it to life and share the fun and the passion with uh, with your audience. So thank you. Thanks for inviting me onto oh, this channel. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you.